Welcome to this episode of Best Recipes with Sharon. Today I'm going to show you how to make sweetheart chocolate cake with a buttercream frosting. Perfect choice for Valentine's Day, but really it can be made to suit any occasion. The nice thing about this recipe is that it's very easy to make. You put all the ingredients in one bowl, mix it all up, and it's done very quickly. So it's a short amount of prep time. I'm excited to be bringing this recipe to you today because we're going to have some fun with it. So without any further ado, let's get started. Now I have all my ingredients pre-measured and ready to add. So I have my bowl here. I'm going to add one and three quarter cups of flour. Add two cups of white sugar. Three quarters of a cup of coca. One teaspoon of salt. One and a half teaspoons of baking soda. One and a half teaspoons of baking powder. One cup of milk. Now half a cup of vegetable oil, then I'm adding two eggs, now I'm going to mix that in a little bit, add two teaspoons of vanilla, and the very last thing that you add is the boiling water, one cup of boiling water. Now you can see that the batter is a little bit runny. It's a little runny compared to other cake batters, but that is okay, that's how it's supposed to be. Now I'm making a template so that I can cut out some parchment paper to go in the bottom of my pans. I grease the sides of the pan so that the batter doesn't stick and it's easier to get it out. The parchment paper in the bottom really helps as well. You can see here that I'm doing a cake as well as I'm going to do some mini cupcakes in the shape of hearts. I'm going to put it in the oven at 350 degrees. The cake will be in there for 30 minutes. The cupcakes will only take about maybe 10 to 15 minutes. Now because I'm doing cupcakes along with the cake, I'm going to have to keep a close eye on it and take the cupcakes out a little bit earlier. Removing them from the oven and I'm going to remove the parchment paper once they have cooled off just a little bit. I want them to still be a little bit warm. It's easier to remove it without it falling apart as well. Now to check the cake, I'm going to remove the cake from the oven and I'm going to insert a toothpick in the center. If the toothpick comes out clean, then we know it's done. Parchment paper will have to be removed off the outside once it's still just a little bit warm. You have to let it cool off a little bit, but then remove that parchment paper fairly soon. So now we'll want to set aside that cake and let it cool. In the meantime, I will be making the buttercream frosting and I will show you how to do that next. Start with one and a half cups of butter. Then when it's really well creamed together, you're going to add six to seven cups of icing sugar. To be exact, probably about six and three quarters cup of icing sugar. You add it one cup at a time. After you've got the vanilla mixed in, then we start adding the whole milk. One tablespoon at a time probably, but I'm just starting to pour it in because I'm doing it according to the consistency that I want it to be. Once you've got it to the desired consistency, then you add a dab of food coloring. I like to use the gel for food coloring, but it uh, doesn't take very much of it. You only need just a little bit on the end of a popsicle stick. Now that we've got this nice and pink, we're ready to decorate. So we'll just take the frosting and we'll put a big glob on top and just keep spreading it around until it's nice and smooth. This is going to be the base of the cake before you actually decorate. So really, who doesn't love chocolate? This rich cake will help to make any date night more elegant. And with the mellow yet sweet buttercream frosting, mmm, wow, it's pretty well perfect for any occasion. So now that it's ready to serve, who would like a piece? Thanks for watching Best Recipes with Sharon and I hope you enjoyed it.